When aluminum is molten, an increase in the gas content, referred to as gas pickup, occurs naturally. Gas pickup accelerates when the melt is superheated, or when it comes in contact with fluxes that contain moisture, tools or equipment that have not been sufficiently preheated, sand or contaminants on scrap material, mold materials and other equipment carrying moisture. When moisture is introduced to the melt, the water molecules break down and hydrogen is absorbed by the liquid metal. The amount absorbed is influenced by the other alloying elements in the aluminum. For example, alloys with higher levels of magnesium absorb more hydrogen. Those with more silicon and copper absorb less. Hydrogen has high solubility in molten aluminum, but low solubility in solid aluminum. This means that as the metal solidifies, it rejects the hydrogen, which forms bubbles. Upon solidification, the bubbles of hydrogen will leave voids or cavities, known as porosity. This results in castings with poor strength, ductility, and surface finish. Degassing processes are applied to remove as much hydrogen as possible. Lance degassing involves inserting a shaft with small holes or diffusers into the melt. Inert gases, such as argon and nitrogen, are run through the shaft and into the melt. The small inert gas bubbles collect the hydrogen and lift it to the surface. Rotary, or radial degassing, is now more common than lance degassing, and can be applied either with or without the addition of flux. Rotary degassing involves inserting a rotating hollow shaft with a specially designed impeller into the melt. Inert gases are injected through the rotating shaft to collect the hydrogen and carry it to the melt surface. Fluxes can also be injected, which help carry inclusions out of the melt, along with the hydrogen.